Hello everyone, so today we are going to learn about SSH and how we can do basic tasks, how we can log into another remote computer and how we can transfer files via SSH. It's going to be super easy whether you want to host your Node.js server, PHP server or it can be anything whether you want to just, just do something by logging in, try some stuff, like hack something, I don't know. Uh, maybe okay whatever so how we use ssh ssh stands for secure shell and uh, i will show you how you can easily set it up in any computer whether it's cloud or whether it's your local computer this method will help you do things very easily seven is here so you don't need to go anywhere let's get started so first thing what we will need is a uh, cloud computer or any computer so i will be using using vulture so this is a product which i am going to like and i like this i, I like this ui and the dark mode stuff so i have nothing here it's like from scratch it doesn't matter which server you are using which cloud provider you are using but i will use this for example and if you want to use this you can try this out you will get hundred dollars free if you use my link below in the description please do it will be great support for me and my channel so first i'll just cl click on this deploy instance uh, it's just basic i'll just go with cloud compute instead of high frequency so let's stay with this tokyo there are a lot of stuff singapore Paris, Sydney, let's go Sydney or let's go Tokyo. And you can select from this. Uh, there are a lot of different operating system. Uh, we will just go with Ubuntu. So this is the most used OS or like if you go in the marketplace, you can just select this. Okay. Uh, right now, let's just go with Ubuntu 20. Okay. That's cool. Let's go the least and uh, here you, you will be asked to add ssh key no matter which cloud provider you are using so how do you generate ssh key you go to this link i'll put it in the description here i add my bash commands or i can add it in description if it works so i'll just copy this ssh key gen if you are using windows make sure you have open ssh installed so i will just uh, type my email and uh, hi at creativeshe.com and hit enter then it will ask me where should we put the file where should we put the public key okay so there are two files which we get so uh, right now the directory is this dot ssh so if i copy this okay and if i paste uh, copy and paste and then add a file name let's just say yt test and hit enter so it will ask for passphrase i don't put passphrase like i just hit enter and enter and it's done so it will your identification has been saved and this is the public key so you will copy this location and you will copy the content of this file so if i log this file you will see this we have this so you can use cat or bat as well so i will just copy this and now if i'll go to this vulture and if i will click on add keys so i'll click on add new if you already have it will take from there so i can put some name macbook or anything like that add ssh key and uh, here everything is selected um, that's it here we still have like all we need to do is test this so test ubuntu okay uh, i'll just now click on deploy now and it will take few minutes depending on the cloud server and it will be done 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 all right guys we are into the server so not we are into the server we are here so all we will need if you will click here you will get a username so it's generally root or ubuntu whatever the operating system whether it can be node as well so we have this 
dot pub we pasted that public key we also have a private key let me show you the private key so if i will do bat the same location but instead of pub i will just remove the pub so this is the private key so what we need to do is we need to add this so for that we have another command ssh add and we put the location okay so i'll paste the private key location all right and it says identity added and now to log into the server all we need to do is just type ssh username which is root at the rate followed by the ip cool we don't need password see see the magic just type yes it will ask only once and oh, no. waka boom it is asking for password maybe the ssh key did not work so let's copy the password and we will see what happens maybe it will like the thing is i noticed they don't uh, like the ssh key doesn't get enabled right after we make the changes so uh, where you need to look is that so if you go in the ssh directory cd dot ssh and if you will do ls so you will see different stuffs here so if i do vim authorized keys so the thing is it's nothing here it's nothing here that's really sad so what do we need to do we need to put the public uh, key which we pasted here as well so you just need to copy that again so let's just close this i closed it uh, vim to close vim you press shift z z and here is our public key so i'll copy this never share your private key only share the public key okay so to do this i can just type echo and paste it without opening vim and put this double redirection so it means append and uh, i will just type authorized keys hit tab and hit enter and if i do cat means read the file and uh, i do authorized keys and you will see it's it's here okay so now let's exit cool cool we don't know let's suppose we don't know password yet so what we will do we will do it's the same command and does it ask for password no it did not ask for password see the magic of ssh okay so we are in so we are in so we are in so if i do ls snap is there so we are done with the ssh setup so if i type exit again it will be getting exit so if i do apt update so it is updating all package updated and let's install something or apt install node js see it will install the node js if i type enter so which node js it is going to install i have no idea let's type node dash v it's version 10 that sucks npm dash v npm not found that's not good all right so <laughs> node is there we can do stuff so let's see how we can transfer files let's suppose we have a file here in my desktop so i'll just do desk uh yeah this is the text so let's suppose we want to transfer this file or let's create a directory mkdir and transfer me okay and move this file there so mv disk dot txt to transfer me okay so if i do tree transfer me so you will see this cool so it means it's there so let's try to put this folder in the let me open a new tab and i'll just increase the font and i'll do array to whatever the ip was and waka boom waka boom So it says welcome system restart rec 
required so i'll just clear this up and we have this option so if you will go again in my doc so you will see using r sync so what is r sync it is a like transfer protocol and utility which you can use to transfer files so if you don't have the ssh already set up so what you can do is just install this sudo apt install open ssh client and apt like we need server so to install the server we will do sudo apt install open ssh server and that's it you need to and you should be done by then like then the process is same you just need to what we did so you will do that in your local system as well okay so our sync is this so i'll just copy this okay here is this a z v h p so a means uh, here it's archive and compressed archive zipped and verbose means everything will be printed out and it will show us the progress so path to local file so we will do this transfer me and uh, then we put the remote so if i type exit again so this is the remote so i'll just copy this root thing and i'll paste here and uh, i will have to specify the path so i'll put colon and after that then i can just do anything so let's i i'm just putting it in home all right as you can see it has been transferred so let's go and log again you don't need to log in back and forth so i will just do ls and see what we have got we got transfer me so ls transfer me we have this disk dot text is it same disk dot yeah we have the same stuff so this is how you can easily transfer file from your computer to the remote server whether it's your server files folders or all that stuff okay so this is the location so if we just type this cd this and slash we will be still here so let's go in this root directory and if i uh, show you ls and we get all this file in the root cd and if i do this and we get this cool pretty cool okay so to get file from that server so let's edit something in let's make another folder mkdir don't transfer cool and cd don't transfer and echo and we will just make it sh dot txt text okay or yeah that's that's cool so don't transfer let's let's do ls we have this so we don't need to run anything from here so we will just do the same but we will just reverse it okay so we will put the location of the file here so i'll just remove this transfer me and uh, now we will have to put the location so the location is like if you will type pwd you will get this don't transfer so we are still in the home directory so if i go to cd don't transfer pwd root don't transfer okay so we can just put this or using this method i will just type don't transfer and i can i will have to put my location so where should i like put it like in the local file so if i want to put it in this location it will be like this see here okay we got the file so let's see uh, l tree don't transfer and wakabu wakabu and if i do bad don't transfer and 
yeah so this is how we transfer files how we log into the system how we do stuff if you have access to console all you need to do is go here and just go to authorized keys so and uh, vim uh, dot ssh slash authorized keys so here you need to put your public key and you can log in from anywhere in this world so this is all for this video if you like my content please consider subscribing and supporting me on patreon and uh, yeah stay creative let me know if you have any doubts or question and if you have not liked it then what you are doing please do bye bye take care see you soon bye bye bye